Why not endorse Biden? Because if I'm sitting here telling my listeners that, you know, you have somebody out there who is a threat to democracy, you have somebody out there who said they want to, you know, suspend the Constitution to overthrow the results of an election. You saw this person, you know, try to lead an attempted coup of this country. And I'm telling people that this guy is a threat to democracy. Have you ever read Project 25? Mm -hmm. There's only two candidates out there. So if I'm saying that about this individual, the choice is clear, right? And I saw, I've, seen, I've, <laughs> I've seen y'all do this on The View before. That's Charlemagne the God with a lowercase g going at it with the harpies on The View because he won't endorse Biden. Welcome to NERC News, I'm Nurkish, and The View recently had on another black guest who's capable of independent thought. So you know what that means? They spent an entire segment berating him for not kissing the ring of Joe Biden and the establishment party. Why do y'all need us to say this if we don't feel comfortable saying it? No, no, it's not that we need you to mm -hmm. say it. Others but I think, I think other folks need to hear because, you know, one of the things you... I, I'm sorry, oh, I just no, jumped you. I'm sorry. But one of the things that we've been talking about is the fact that getting facts out through the media has been very... seems to be very difficult. Cause, I feel like I, feel like I just know, spewed some facts. Yeah. I, yes, but, 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 but we need you to do it on matter. your show. Well, I think, well, the reality is I think both candidates are trash. So because, I, because I'm, but I am going to vote in November and I'm going to vote my best interest and I'm going to vote who I think, you know, can preserve democracy. So if I think both candidates are trash and I don't feel like, you know, endorsing one, would you rather me endorse an individual or endorse the fact that, hey, we need to go out here and protect democracy? For the record, this is a pathetic attempt at a humiliation ritual. It's a common tactic used by the left and particularly women on the left. You see it with Caitlin Collins on CNN and everyone on MSNBC. The View has done it with other minorities that have come on the show, like Killer Mike. And it just goes to show you why Democrats are hemorrhaging voters. People like Killer Mike and Charlemagne don't like Trump at all. But the fact that they aren't sold on Biden qualifies them for this televised 15 minutes of hate. And by the way, I think it's incredibly powerful to use your platform just to draw the contrast. I actually tend to agree that I don't think an endorsement is somehow more powerful than reminding folks the other person vote. tried to overturn That's our right. democracy. Yeah. That breaks through. But I want to ask you because you, you're you kind of one of these, we call them double haters. I don't like to use the, the phrase. But, um, double you, haters? Double haters, like not thrilled with Biden or Trump. And um, oh. I've never heard of that. Like the it. chicken yeah. fried I egg. called it. <laughs> I, thought, I thought that was just called being an American. Out. Who do you think wins? Oh, I have no idea. Yeah. I mean, that's like, that's, it's a toss up at this point. Mm -hmm. You know, I really don't know. Um, I think the person who goes out there and probably energizes their base the best at this point. And, you know, when you look at somebody like President Biden, it feels like his base is pretty pissed off at him for, for a Help number of reasons. Help him out. Well, no, look, I, I actually... <laughs> Help him out by doing what? Because for me, I think back to the time when we couldn't vote. So the idea mm -hmm. of voting for you know, this one or this one wasn't, uh, it wasn't about our best interests. It was about how do we get to point B? Well, there you have it. Petty mean girl name calling and race baiting, the bread and butter of the view. My favorite part is when Whoopi said he should vote for Biden because in 1870 or something, black people weren't allowed to vote. Solid reasoning once again. If Charlemagne wasn't sold on Biden before, I'm sure a table of smug, condescending, shrill women shaming him and wagging their fingers really did the trick. But let me know what you think. Is having a group of awful women nag you incessantly about politics going to win the hearts and minds of undecided voters? Let me know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel. That stuff really does help us out. Until then, this has been NERC News. Thanks for watching. Bye!